Convert the deanery number 215 to a binary number equivalent. This is often referred to as changing the base. In the example here, we are going to change the base of the number from deanery to binary. Let's have a look at the following. 7 divided by 2, well that is 3.5 or 3.5. Another way of looking at it is to say it goes in 3 times and we have a remainder of 1. So if we take 12 and divide that by 2, we get 6 with no remainders. If we take 13 and divide that by 2, we get 6 with a remainder of 1. Okay, with that knowledge, let's have a look at 215, which we can write here with a little 10 there to remind us that in fact we're dealing in deanery. So we take the 215 and we write it down and we continually divide by 2. So 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 1, well it doesn't. Then we ask, well okay then, how many times does 2 go into 15? And of course the answer is 7, with a 1 remaining. So we write down the 7 and we have a 1 remaining. Then we do the same again, we say how many 2's go into 10? Well the answer is 5. And then how many 2 goes into 7? Well, it's 3 with 1 remaining. Then we say how many 2's go into 5? Well, it's 2 with 1 remaining. So we take that 1 up there. And then we say, well, how many 2's go into 13? 6 with 1 remaining. Then how many 2's go into 26? 13 with no remainders this time. 2 into 13 goes 6 with a remainder of 1. 2 into 6 will go 3 times with a remainder of 0. 2 into 3 will go once with a remainder of 1. And then finally we say 2 into 1 goes 0 with 1 remaining. Now when we get to here, when that's a 0, we stop dividing. Now this is the most significant bit. And up here we have the least significant bit. What we do now, we start at the most significant bit and copy down and then we copy each bit in turn as you can see and we move carefully towards the least significant bit until we in fact have copied the least significant bit down which we've just done. Therefore we can say 215 is the same as the following in binary. Let's look at another example, 128. Well, 2 into 128 goes 64 times and there's no remainder. Now, 2 into 64 goes 32 times with no remainder. 2 into 32 goes 16 times, no remainder. 2 into 16, 8 times, no remainder. 2 into 8, 4 times, no remainder. 2 into 4, twice, no remainder. 2 into 2 goes once with the remainder of 0, and then 2 into 1, well, it doesn't go, so we have the 1 remaining. And when this is a 0, we stop. We finish the, the division process. Now, this is the most significant bit, and this one up here is the least significant bit. So we copy the most significant bit down, and then we can see that we have 7 zeros here, so it's obvious we need to copy seven zeros down here. Consequently, we have 128 in deanery being the equivalent to the following number in binary. Now, I won't do another example, but look at this here. When that is an even number and we divide by two, we will get a remainder that is always a zero. Here, for example, we can see we have a one and that is obviously an odd number and when we divide an odd number by 2 we get a remainder that will always be a 1. This can be a very useful aid when checking our own workings. In other words, odd divided by 2, always 1 remaining. Even divided by 2, always 0 remaining. One final point, this has shown deanery to binary conversion. Deanery is often referred to as decimal by some people. So this can also be regarded as decimal to binary conversion in that case.